Alright, so now for a little graphing trig review. Given the following functions, describe the transformations that have taken place. So all we're doing is describing the transformations. We don't have to graph it or anything. So what we did at the beginning, we always talked about, okay, so the 4, that's the amplitude. That's what we call a vertical stretch. And the 2 changes the period, so that the period, because it's with the x, it's changing it horizontally, so the period used to be 2 pi, but now it's 2 pi, and rather than being multiplied by 2, it's divided by 2. So that's a horizontal shrink. by 2. And the plus 3 moves it up 3. Um, this should say up 3. And that's the midline. Alright, next one. The negative. A vertical reflection or a reflection over x-axis because it makes everything negative positive and positive negative the 3 is what did the period before because it's being multiplied by the x so the period is now 2 pi divided by 3 that's a horizontal shrink And the minus pi over 6, it's with the x, and so it's messing with it horizontally. So we call a phase shift. And that's moving right th pi over 6. Because when it's with the x, it always moves the opposite. Just like the 2 pi is divided by the 3 instead of multiplied, the minus pi over 6 moves it to the right. We're going to do these next ones a a little bit faster. This minus 2 does the exact same thing as the plus 3. Um, this negative reflects it. Reflect it over x-axis. Negative 2 moves it down 2. 4 pi. Period is now 2 pi divided by the 4 pi that's out in front because it's being multiplied so it's now 1 half horizontal shrink and minus 7 phase shift or you could just say right 7 opposite of subtracting it's really moving to the right. 5 is the amplitude. Vertical stretch. Twelve is the period. Used to be two pi, but now it's being divided by twelve. And so that the two and the twelve uh simplify to one over six. So we get pi over 6 is the period. Again, horizontal shrink. And the plus pi over 3 moves it opposite of what we think, so it actually moves it left, pi over 3. That's a phase shift. All right. Write an equation. So this is going backwards from what we had been doing. So amplitude is 5. We want our amplitude, our A value, to be 5. And here's what I mean by this. Y equals A times sine slash cosine of B x minus H plus K is what we've been doing all along. Um, the period is not the b, but it's affected by the b, so 2 pi. Remember that the period is 2 pi divided by b, or if you multiply by b and divide by p, b is also 2 pi 
divided by P and so you can find your B term by dividing by the period. So B equals 2 pi divided by pi over 3. Dividing by pi over 3 is the same thing as multiplying by 3 over pi. Pi cancel out, you get 6. So y equals r5 times the sine of 6x, and then down 7, so on the outside, I'm going to have a minus 7. Reflected over the x-axis, so we need a negative. We're using a cosine this time. Amplitude is two-thirds, so I'm going to put a two-thirds with the negative. Shifted right, 2 pi over 3. And so that's with the x. And to shift it right, we actually need to subtract. So minus 2 pi over 3. And y equals sine of x. Amplitude is 4. Period is 12. So we're going to do the b, just like we did before. 2 pi divided by 12, pi over 6. And so the pi over 6 is our b. y equals 4 sine of pi over 6. We're going to be shifting it left 5. So left, I would think minus, but it's actually plus because it's opposite. And up 9, plus 9. And there you have it. So, what we're looking at is this is sort of the beginnings of, of graphing it. Where's the midline? Where's the max line? Where's the min line? This is like the equilibrium that we've been talking about. Period, phase shift, this is left and right behavior. And where's the starting point? Sine, cosine, does it start at the peak? Does it start at the valley? Does it start in the middle? Um, so, the midline. This hasn't been shifted up and down at all, and so this midline is just y equals zero. The max line, the amplitude is six, and so it goes up to six, and it goes down to negative six. The period, two pi, divided by two pi, and so the period is one, and so that's what we would take and split into our little pieces. Minus one half, makes it go to the right one half because it's opposite and it's horizontal and so the starting point because it's the cosine it starts at the peak but it moves to the right one half and so the starting point is actually one half rather than zero and since it starts at the peak it starts at six All right, midline. Well, midline is the up and down motion, and so this 5 is our midline. Um, because you can imagine sticking the 5 out at the end. Max line, well, the max, the amplitude, is 1. There's a negative in front of the sign, so it's going to be flipped going down first, but the amplitude is 1, so it goes up to 6, and it goes down to 4 from 5. The period is usually 2 pi. 2 pi divided by 1 third is 2 pi times 3 and so the period is 6 pi. Phase shift went to the right 2 pi and so the starting point is 2 pi. Notice that we did the same thing here with the 2 pi starting to the right as we did with the one half. Had we gone to the left, this would be a negative two pi. Sine's gonna go down, but it starts at the equilibrium, so this is six. And then this went to the right two pi, so we're gonna start at two pi comma six as our starting point, if we graphed it. We'll get a little more in depth when we actually graph it. So, two functions find the first positive x-intercepts of each. I'm going to draw a graph in order to do these, because it's a lot easier. So, 
3 cosine of pi over 6 x. 3 is the amplitude, so I'm going to go up and down 3 from 0. The period, usually 2 pi, is being divided by the pi over 6, which is multiplied. So it's affecting the x. Um, pi cross out, you get 12. So I'm going to mark my quarters. It's not asking me to graph. I'm just a very visual person. And it's a lot easier to show you guys this way. So cosine. Cosine starts at the peak because the cosine of 0 is 1. And so we just multiply it by 3. It's going to repeat at the peak. Halfway in between is going to be at the valley. Halfway in between is going to be at the 0. So this is what it looks like. So this question asks for our first two positive x-intercepts. So 3, 0 and 9, 0 are our two x-intercepts. Let's try another. This negative 2 is going to cause our cosine to open upside down. And by that I mean it's going to start at the bottom. So it's going to start at negative 2 and go to positive 2. And the period is going to be 2 pi divided by 1 half. So it's actually going to make it 2 pi times 2 over 1, or 4 pi. So 4 pi, half of that is 2 pi, you get pi, and 3 pi. Remember, cut it in half, cut it in half again, and then 1, 2, 3. So we said it started at the bottom, because it's a negative cosine, so it repeats. And there you have it. So our two x-intercepts, we're looking for this point and this point, And we have pi 0 and 3 pi 0. We say first two because technically this is going to keep going. It's going to keep going, and so there are infinitely many more separated by every 4 pi. So we'll keep going.